friends, it's Liv, and I'm here with a back to school haul today. I spent way too much money on clothes for back to school. Um, do I hate myself? Yes. Is that fine? Yes. So let's begin. So I'm not really sure if I should go by store or by item but I think I'm gonna go buy items. So we're gonna start with accessories. There was a sale on the Nasty Gal website, so a lot of the stuff you're gonna see is from Nasty Gal, and honestly, I don't know how I feel about a lot of it, but I kept it, so I'm just gonna show you guys what I got. But yeah, the first thing I got is this chain belt. Um, it's impractical, but she's cute. Honestly, I'm still kind of confused on how to tie this baby or loop it through my jeans without it overlapping and getting stuck and looking really stupid. But I think once I figure it out, she'll be cute. So there's that. I also got these gold hoop earrings. Um, these were on sale as well. I think they were like five bucks or something, but I've always wanted big gold hoops. I have big silver hoops, so I haven't worn these yet, but I'm sure that they'll be hella cute. In terms of dresses, I only have one and it is this green wrap dress. It looks better on, let's just, we'll go to the try on clip. This dress is from a store called Harlequin in Bramley City Center, which is a mall <laughs> near my house. Um, I think this is the only store location that they have and I don't even know if you can shop online for them but honestly if you ever get a chance to go into that store you should definitely do it because it's literally the cutest thing in the entire world. I literally spent so long trying to decide if I needed this dress or not even though it was 20% off. Um, it was still kind of expensive but I think it's really really cute, really flattering, great for the summer and definitely I can wear it into the spring and the fall as well. Pops is where it gets a little, a little bit expensive, a little bit more merchandise. So let's dive into that right now. From the same store, Harlequin, I got this yellow top and it can either be tied in the front or tied as a wrap top. Um, I kind of like to tie it as a wrap top more because that way everything's not flying everywhere and falling all over the place and being exposed, if you know what I mean. So yeah, I think this top is really, really cute. It's got these long flowy sleeves. I don't own anything really like this and I absolutely love the yellow color with the flowers. I just think it's so adorable and it's gonna be great for summer going into fall as well because of the long sleeves. I got this blue top from Topshop. It's a very low cut neckline um, with these ruffles on the shoulders which I think is so cute and so different and it's also kind of got this ruched kind of thing going on down the center of the stomach area which is actually really flattering and I didn't think it would be but it is. This top is super cute with the flowers as well obviously there's a theme going on for my summer wardrobe that I've been buying and Rouge as well has been making an appearance a lot. So I guess I'm kind of into that right now. <laughs> but this top is super lightweight, super good to wear for the summer, super cute. And yeah, overall, love that for me. Next, I got this bodysuit from Nasty Gal. It looks like this. It's got this square neckline um, and this kind of zipper thing going on here which I think is super, super cute. It is a bodysuit. Um, I don't own a lot of bodysuits because honestly, I find them kind of uncomfortable, but they're very practical. So I'll just have to give them that one. The neckline is a little bit off, but I don't really mind. I'm sure I can make it work. And yeah, there's not really much to say about a plain black bodysuit with a zipper. I actually thrifted this top from Babaton, um, but I got it from Talese, I think. I don't even think it was from Play-Dohs. I genuinely think it was from Talese. And it was literally, oh, it was $12, but it was half price, so I got it for six. This is just a really nice classic black top with a mock neck, and it is a little bit cropped, so I can wear it with my high-waisted jeans, which is literally all that I wear, high-waisted jeans and high-waisted pants, so that works out perfectly for me, but overall, it's comfy, it's stretchy, it's breathable. I really, really love this top, and I'm glad I didn't have to pay full price for it. And the final top I have is this tank from Brandy Melville. Excuse the wrinkles, it's been like sitting in this pile waiting for me to film this video forever. But I think this top is so, so cute. It's got the ruffly sleeves, so it kind of has more of a oomph, you know what I mean, than a regular tank top. And I also really, really love the lettuce hem around the neckline and the cropped bottom. I also bought shorts from Nasty Gal. I got two pairs and I'm going to show you guys them right now as soon as I can get my life together. So this is the first pair. These kind of go out at the bottom. I'm not sure what that's called. I think it's called like an A-line 
or something like that. But they're so cute. They've got these little button details and a little bit of ruffles at the waistline. And the clasp is this super easy, just like clasp kind of thing. It's not like a button or anything, which I love these because you know when you have to pee really, really bad and you're just like running to the bathroom? These are so much easier to undo than a button. It's so practical. Anyway, I really, really love the brown color and the ruffles that go along with it. I just think it's super cute and different from what I usually wear. So that's why I picked that one up. And then I also got this pair. Hang on, just let me, let me get it together. They're cute, I promise. So I got this pair of black shorts with this kind of um, utility style look to them. I love this ring detail hanging from the pockets and this little belt detail. Um, sometimes I look at it and I think it does look kind of cheap, but at the same time, that's my brand, so what can I say? I just think that the fact that it comes with a belt is so different from what I normally wear. Um, both these pairs of shorts were actually quite different from what I normally wear, which is just high-waisted mom jean denim shorts. So I'm actually really, really happy with these and the way they fit and the way that they look. And like I said, they were both from Nasty Gal. Next up is jeans. I only got two pairs of jeans. I had a third one from Nasty Gal, but when they came, they were my size, but they were way too small for me. So something is definitely off with that sizing chart. But the first pair of jeans I got was also from Nasty Gal and they fit um, perfectly fine. They did run a little bit big, which kind of sucked, but I'm sure if I put it with a belt, it'll be a-okay. So these are the first pair of jeans that I got. They are a mom style denim with sort of like a two-toned kind of thing going on. Can you even see that? See, it's like dark and then on the back it's like light. Um, I like it, although the back does kind of look like it's inside out, which is a little bit strange to me. It definitely didn't look like this in the photos online, but um, I guess it's cute. I'll make it work, honestly, it's fine. Weird also, it's got one leather belt loop. The other ones are all denim, so this one leather belt loop kind of throws me a bit, but I'm sure I'll make it work. And the other pair of jeans I got from Urban Outfitters, they are just these light wash mom jeans. Sorry, the fly's undone. Anyway, they're just this light wash mom jeans from um, BDG, which I believe is the Urban Outfitters in-house brand. These were actually on sale. They were originally like the regular BDG jean price, which is about 70 to $80. I got them for 20. There was like a sale on the sale section, which is just like the best thing to ever happen to me in my entire life. Like I'm so grateful grateful to God for that. And these were the very last pair of jeans in my size. So I just figured, you know, it's a sign. I don't have any light wash denim, only that one I just showed you that literally looks like they're inside out all the time. So we're gonna see how these look on my legs. Oh my God, there's a lawnmower going on and I hope you guys can't hear it, but it's way too hot for me to shut my window. So if you can hear it, I'm sorry, just you're gonna have to deal. The final category is pants. These are the first ones that I got. They are sort of just like patterned polka dot brown and white pants. Now there's a train. Honestly, what is going on? Honestly, I didn't know how I felt about these, but they were $10 from Urban Outfitters when they were originally supposed to be $75, so I don't know how I could really pass those up. Um, I am gonna match that brandy tank top I showed you guys with it because the white and the white, and I'm just hoping that it works out for the best because honestly, I don't even know what to do with these. But regardless, I absolutely love the style. They're comfy. They kind of are fitted but flared at the same time, if that makes sense. And overall, I just think they're really, really flattering and quite different from anything else in my wardrobe. So let's hope that I can figure out what to do with these. Up next is my last item I bought from Urban Outfitters, which is just these kind of yoga-y looking pants. I believe I got these on sale too, but they are just navy blue with a white stripe pattern going down them. And guys, these are so freaking comfortable. Like these are so comfy. It literally feels like I'm wearing yoga pants and they aren't really yoga pants. They're just patterned pants, but they stretch and they fit and they will curve to your curves and they will be tight where they need to be tight. Oh my God. These pants are a godsend. Honestly, if they still have these in stock, I would definitely recommend picking a pair up. And the final pair of pants that I got are these patterned cigarette pants from Nasty Gal. This is like the only thing really I got from Nasty Gal that I can say that I was honestly happy with, even though they are a little bit big around my ankles. It's 
fine, but I really, really love the red and the black and the brown and the gray. Like you can mix so many different tops with this, which I really, really love because versatility is a key. You can't be wearing the same crusty outfits every single day. They cinch at the waist, they have pockets, they have belt loops. It's got this little detail around the ankles, this little slit. Like, how cute, how cute are these pants? I love these. Thank you guys so, so, so much for checking out this video. This was my back to school haul and this didn't even include the things that I thrifted. So I love that for me. If you like this video, remember to leave me a thumbs up and a cute little comment and I'll definitely try my best to reply. And remember to subscribe and join our little community. Thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you guys on Tuesday. Bye. Oh,